Hi, hey, hello, it's me again, Monroe, and welcome back to another episode of You Already Know, Bake Squared, where I get baked, I get ready, and then I bake in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Well, welcome back, friends. Um, everything's still basically locked down, you know. So ain't nothing better to do but just bake and bake and bake and bake and bake and bake and get bake and bake. Get bake and bake. Yeah. All right, friends. So what I am baking today is gonna be like kind of a process. So let me hurry up. I don't got time today. I got plans later. You see this hair? Of course I have plans. And I got a whip now. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, yeah, I got a poor. And so, I'm on, I'm on a new level, I'm on a new level. Let me just hurry up and go get ready. I'm Cam, I will be back to show you my outfit and my makeup and all that jazz, and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, friends, so this is the finished look. I've been feeling like real edgy and different ever since I did my hair and I cut it off, and then I hopped off the track and I booted the ball and I didn't know why, but I did it anyway. And then I put it in the pink and then I did a cow prank, yay. Yeah, y'all better recognize that I'm a rapper too. And if you didn't know, well now you know, boo. I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> Nikki who? Cardi who? I'm sorry, I don't know them. But yeah, this is the finished look. I did want to do like makeup that kind of matched my hair. Um, Shirt-wise, I just did this like silky shirt. It's actually probably like polyester. <laughs> Who wears that anymore? Me. But then some black Levi's uh, on the thinner side, not like the 501s, like the straight cut. <laughs> Who wears that anymore? Me. <laughs> and then some like boot shoes. And yeah, some silver jewelry. And that was it. A uh, leather shirt because it's like barbed wire on the side and I'm edgy. Like, look at me. Mm. But let me show you the rest of this outfit and then we're gonna head over to the kitchen. Let's start bake game, okay? So today, since it's, like I said, it's getting on the, uh, uh, the or did I say? Who knows? I don't. But we're getting on the verge of summertime here, so it's hot. So I wanna do like a, a fresh dessert with some strawberries. I'm gonna do a strawberry shortcake cupcake. And then I'm hanging out later with some people, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to be like, try these cupcakes! Cause I made them from scratch. Cause that's how I do it like that, that, that. Yeah, I need some water cause I'm about to pass out. <laughs> The only reason why I am so thin, people always ask, I don't eat a thing. I just eat my desserts and drink water. Okay? That's how you stay like this. All right, so for today's ingredients, you're going to need some eggs, some cream of tartar, some sugar, some oil, some milk, some vanilla extract, some flour, some baking powder, some strawberries, some cornstarch, some golden Oreos, some butter, red food coloring, cream cheese, and then some heavy cream. I know it sounds like a lot, but I'm doing a lot, so I'm doing... Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm doing a strawberry filling for the cupcake itself, and then I'm doing a strawberry whipped cream frosting for the cupcake, but it's gonna be like a, with the Oreos, a crumble, like a, you know, and you having those strawberry shortcake ice creams. Mm-hmm, you, you know? Okay, okay. I, I didn't feel like going into it even more, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's get started. So to start, I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. Get you some bowls ready, okay? You're gonna need four eggs. I don't know why I did this. I'm like, Satan! <laughs> You're gonna need four eggs. You're gonna separate those, like uh, the yolks in one bowl and then the, the whites in another bowl. What is this, a robin's egg? What the hell? Who gave me these? This egg just looks way too perfect to be a, a, a chicken egg. I'm like, uh-uh. Y'all trying to set me up. 
I'm not trying to be growing no in a fourth leg. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start with the egg whites first. So we're just gonna beat this, we're gonna make like a meringue until it gets to stiff peaks. We're also going to add to this a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar and then a third of a cup of sugar. Alright, so after you have gotten your egg whites, cream of tartar, and sugar to stiff peaks, we set that aside. Now we're going to work on our egg yolks. So take your four egg yolks. I don't know why I'm looking away like somebody's behind me. Is there? Oh, y'all scared me, don't do that. Take your four egg yolks, add two thirds cups of sugar. Now you're going to add a third of a cup of oil. Oh, can I open this? What the hell? And then you're also gonna add a third of a cup of milk. You're gonna need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You need one cup of flour and then one teaspoon of baking powder. After you have all that mixed up, in thirds, we're going to add in our meringue. And then we're just gonna fold this in. So now that that is all folded up, let's line our cupcake pans. We're gonna bake these at 350 for, we're gonna start off at six minutes, okay? Just make sure you keep an eye on these because these are very delicate and very light, so they could burn fast, okay? Keep an eye out. Okay, next I'm starting on the strawberry filling. I'm just gonna rinse these strawberries off really quick. All that pesticides, I don't want that. I don't want that in my dessert. Not today. So what I'm doing, I'm just cutting off the ends of these strawberries, but uh, you're only gonna need one cup of puree. So I'm gonna blend these just to get a cup and then I'm going to add it to a saucepan. So I'm going to blend this up and let's see if it is be a cup. If not, I'm going to cut up the rest of these and just add it in here. My babies aren't done yet. I just put it in for four more minutes, but uh, I did turn the heat down to 325 so they won't burn. Okay. All right. So yeah, I didn't add anything to this. It's just the strawberries itself. So make sure you don't add any water or any, any excess liquid. Gotcha. All right, so in a small saucepan, just add your strawberry puree. To the strawberry puree, you're going to add a half a cup of sugar. So while this strawberry filling is on the stove top, I'm going to also add something else in after it's done boiling. A tablespoon uh, of cornstarch and then a tablespoon of water. And then just mix that in after it's boiled and we'll go from there. All right, so the strawberry and sugar mixture is boiling up nicely. But I'm gonna add this cornstarch mixture in now. And I'm gonna take this off the heat and just let it chill for a little bit. Uh, the cupcakes are out. They are nice and fluffy. All right, friends, so now I am going to start on, uh-oh. <laughs> start on the frosting. So, I'm just gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna dice up some strawberries, okay? Let's dice these babies up. It's not a certain amount of um, strawberries that you need. I'm just using the rest of the strawberries that I didn't use in this carton. All right, so now for the frosting, I'm going to use an eight ounce uh, package of cream cheese. I wanna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then these strawberries, and I'm gonna mix that first, get it all creamy. Right now I'm gonna add a half a cup of sugar. And lastly, I'm going to add two cups of heavy cream to this. I'm gonna sit this in the fridge and work on the crumble, and that is the last thing. And then we're gonna put these cupcakes together. All right, so I'm just taking these golden Oreos. I'm taking out the, the filling in the middle, adding the cookies to a Ziploc bag, and I'm gonna smash these up. All right, I'm gonna take two tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna melt this down. So I'm actually gonna put this in a bowl now. I misplaced all my um, frosting bags. So I'm gonna have to use that for what? So now I'm just gonna add the butter into here and then a few drops of red food coloring, okay? All right, so since everything is done, let's get started building our cupcakes. All right, so I do wanna cut off the tip of this bag. 
so I can add a frosting tip. So now I'm going to take another frosting tip in just the, the back of it. I'm going to poke some holes in this cake. Right, on to strawberry filling. You're just gonna fill these little holes. So now I'm just gonna take the Oreo mixture and just sprinkle this on top. And this is the finished product. Now that's a short strawberry cake. You get it? Because it's like a strawberry shortcake. Short strawberry cake. <laughs> Thanks. But that is it, friends. See how she did. Mmm, look at how fluffy that is. You see that? So plush. Wow, y'all, mm -mm. <laughs> wow, wow, seriously, my favorite so far. I know I probably say that every damn time, but seriously, I feel like I'm getting better and better each time I make videos, so that's so fun, so fun. And I love baking, so, and getting baked. Wow. That is strawberry shortcake. I did really good. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you like the videos and if you want to see more and be notified like when I, when I post, right? Yeah. And as always, thanks for joining me on Baked Squared, where you can get a high with me and we can bake. I guess I'll be seeing you next time, friends. Bye-bye. I better go drop my car somewhere. <laughs>